I am supposed to be speaking on faith. And I've heard a lot of things been said about the Alabama movement. But I received a letter maybe a few weeks ago concerning this movement. My son, Robert Earl Council, praise God, is in Holman's facility. But he had wrote me a letter and told me about it, but I hadn't heard about it until then. And he was telling me what it was all about. It was nonviolent. It was peaceful. And he also told me in the letter that because he hadn't come home, I always was telling him, you keep the faith. Because one day, them doors is going to come open for you, which they are. But he told me I found my calling while I'm still in prison. He said, I got to make sure that not only myself come out, but he said over 27,000 other inmates through by this Alabama movement will help them to come out of prison likewise. And it was because of all the injustice that's in there, but he said, ain't nothing worth having if you ain't gonna fight for it. So I want you, uh, these members of the Free Alabama Movement, to keep the faith. There may be times when things like it ain't going nowhere, but remember, look up. God is our help. We can't do this on our own now. We can do our part, but we're gonna need God to guide us all the way through this. For that many of the inmates in there can come out. He was telling about, hallelujah, that the inmates, you know, was working. I see on the back of your thing it says free labor. Abolish that free labor. If you work, you ought to get paid enough money because you have families a lot of them got wives got children at home even though they incarcerated but they still have a family and if the family got to try to take care of the family that's on the outside and try to take care of their husband or their brother or their son that's incarcerated that's making it even harder for that mother or that girl friend or whatever you may be but if we keep the faith and keep looking up and trusting God, this movement will be a success. Because I believe that God gave this, along with Brother Melvin, this movement plan. Because so many is in there and can come out. But a lot of them, because of money, want to keep them in there where they can go to work and produce those tags because if they don't have no laborers, they don't get no tags. And it was saying by them doing the shutdown at the first of the year, they had the right to make a petition. So we know if we keep the faith and keep encouraging and keep doing what we can, because there's, there's so much that they can do on the inside. They need us that's on the outside to do what we can do, make a change. Not saying that there's not going to be no prisoners, uh, prisons, camps, because they will be. But the thing is, it ain't got to be overcrowded. Because yeah. he was saying, and we know that uh, our loved ones done told us how. They just pile them in, in cells, put them in any kind of pl place to sleep. Praise God, way overcrowded. But yet, they're not opening doors and letting some go home. Praise God that I was reading, praise God, in this uh, movement package that a lot of them could go home, but they're not letting them out. But because of what you're doing today, making the, another movement, this rally, speaking out, letting the world know what's going on in this If it's set, we don't speak and tell the world what's going on on the inside, some of them won't know what's going on the inside of the prison camps. So I'm asking you to keep the faith, keep looking up, but most of all, keep trusting God to lead you through this movement. We're gonna succeed. We're gonna make it because truly, I feel like this is what God wanted Melvin and Robert Earl and many others to do. That not only be a change for them, but it'll be a change for others. Keep the faith movement.